In an exclusive campaign 2012 Eyewitness News poll shows incumbent David Cicilline with a double-digit lead over his top primary challenger in the Democratic primary. 43% of those polls say they'd vote for Congressman Cicilline. Now that's up about 3% from our poll in May. 31% would vote for Anthony Gemma, and that's down about 5% from May. Chris Young polled at 4%, with 17% undecided. But the poll reveals a couple of surprises for the Democrats' potential Opponent, opponent in the November election. Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has the exclusive details, new at 11. Whoever wins the Democratic primary faces Brendan Doherty in November, and our poll indicates there could be two drastically different potential results. Um, probably if incumbent David Cicilline wins in the Democratic primary, our poll shows Republican Brendan Doherty would benefit much more than if Anthony Gemma wins the primary, with more than half of Gemma supporters saying they would vote Republican in the general election. If Cicilline beats Gemma, our poll shows 52% of Gemma voters would later vote for Doherty in the general election, less than 29% for Cicilline. Independent David Vogel nets just over 3%, and 15% are not sure. I'm also told every day that I'm a lifelong Democrat and I'm voting for you because people are just sick of what's going on. So it's about integrity, it's about the character. I think they'll have a really clear choice between a direction for this country that the Republicans have set out and what I'm fighting for and what the Democrats are fighting for, and that's a, an economy where we invest in people. In a race with Anthony Gemma, the numbers are much different, but still not all bad for Doherty. Gemma picks up 29% of the Cicilline vote. Doherty, 15%, again picking up Democratic voters. Vogel, 2%. And in this scenario, there are more than 48% who are not sure. And that's what I've been saying right along from day one. Myself, head-to-head -head against Brendan Doherty. I will beat Brendan Doherty in the general election. David Cicilline, head-to-head -head against Brendan Doherty. David Cicilline will lose the seat to Republican. The numbers that you have have a universe of, of undecided votes. So that would be our strategy, obviously, to appeal to those undecided voters. Well, I think moving forward, David... Our political analyst tells us one key factor in who faces Brendan Doherty will be Tuesday night's Eyewitness News debate. He points out Cicilline's lead over Gemma has tripled since the last eyewitness news poll in May. And I think Anthony Gemma has to come out swinging and make a contrast between him and David Cicilline and give the voters the reason to vote for him. Another hurdle according to Fleming for Gemma, 48% of those polled don't know about Gemma. There's a 5.7% margin for error, but keep in mind, in a 2010 congressional poll by Eyewitness News, a 6% victory was predicted for Cicilline, and Cicilline won by 6%. In the newsroom, Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. See the results of our exclusive poll for yourself by logging on to WPRI.com. You'll find an interactive breakdown of every poll question, complete with crosstabs on age, gender, gender, and union households. You'll also find more of our in-depth coverage of Campaign 2012. It's all online right now at WPRI.com.